Good afternoon. So we celebrate, we celebrate the feast day of Pentecost. And it's a little bit difficult for us this year because this year, today would have been the day that those who were in the RCIA would have been being confirmed. It's obviously, it's not going to happen today, but it is going to happen. Just as the religious ed uh, confirmations, they are going to happen. I just, I can't give you a firm date at this point but all of them are going to happen. They haven't been forgotten. But this day is the celebration. This day when we hear about the Holy Spirit going into the Apostle, coming into us, it, it is so closely united with the Sacrament of Confirmation, it normally would have been today. We will get it done. by whose aid the world's foundations first were laid. Alleluia, alleluia. Give us thyself that we may see the Father and the Son by thee. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, O mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast 
sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of your believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. That works. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which the apostles were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At the sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Persians, Medes and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the, of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth the Spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the
the face of the earth. A reading from the letter, first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, No one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Veni Creator Spiritus, Mentes Tuorum Visita, in blessu per na gratia, que tu creasti pectora, qui diceris paraclitus, donum dei altissimi, Fons vivus ignis caritas, et spiritalis uncio. of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst. He said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his sides. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This feast day of Pentecost, I think for the most part, the 7th and 8th grade religious ed classes know this because I've said this particular homily basically in their class more than once 
they hear it because it is so closely related with confirmation. Um, the scene opens here today with the disciples hiding in the upper room. Hiding. Hiding in fear. In fear. Why are they in fear? Well, I think a couple of reasons. The first off, and the most obvious reason that they're in fear, what they're afraid of is, well, if this is what they did to the leader, what have they got in store for us? They were afraid what's going to happen when the Romans get their hands on us. But I think that there may have been an even deeper fear. They may have been sitting there at that point saying, what if we were wrong? What if that wasn't really God? I believed it while he was with it, with us, but now he's crucified. That, that can't be right. Was my belief just wrong? Or was, I, was I led astray? Did I believe in a fairy tale? And then what happens? Jesus walks right into the midst of them, right into the room where they are. And I can only imagine him looking at them and saying, what's going on? What are you doing sitting around? Your fear overtook your love for me. You knew what to do when I was standing with you. You knew each time when I was there. Sometimes you had plenty of courage then, sometimes too much courage. Send, two years telling me sending down lightning and brimstone on some village. But you seem to have let that slip away. Where's that courage now? So he looks at them and says, you know what I'm going to do? I will increase that love in you. I will insert the Holy Spirit into you. He will burn away the fear. He will burn away the doubt. He's going to burn away all of the hopelessness that you might now be feeling. That's what he's going to do. That's why he's here. I'm going to put the Holy Spirit into you. That means I'm putting God into you. God, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. You know, just a few weeks ago, we heard Father Anthony speak to us about how the, the, some of the theologians describe the Holy Spirit as the love in between, that bond of love. You know, when, when some of the theologians describe the Trinity and they say the lover, the beloved, and the bond that's between them. That is what Jesus puts into the apostles. That love, that God. I want you involved in love, that ex in this love that exists between us. I want you involved in God love. Before this happened, they had reverted to mere human thinking. You know, I'm really just a fisherman, or I'm a tax collector, or I don't really know what's going on here. And what did that human thinking get them? It got them hiding in the room, hiding behind locked doors, because they were thinking in ways that we think. In way, they, they, there was less and less reference to God, and that's where the love started to diminish. That's when the fear started to grow. Jesus says to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive this God love into you. And now, now that you've got God love into you, go out and make known this love of God. Make known the love of God for you. Make known the love of God in you. Go out and show this love. And he says, I want you to go out and show it because it's even bigger than language. It's bigger than words. You know, the example I use with the kids is I say, if I'm looking out the window and I see in the parking lot two kids, one on the floor and one standing over them, I don't need a whole narrative to tell me whether or not he was just pushed down or whether he's getting helped up. People see real love and the lack of it. People see real love better than they beyond words. As a matter of fact, I know in my life it seems like it often happens that the more words that are coming at me, the more words that are getting used in a conversation are often trying to lead me into a debate or leading into a rationalization. The disciples spoke and the people saw love. That's what they saw and that's what they understood. That love that was put into them, that's the basis of the, all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You guys know them, right? My eighth graders, you know them, right? 
wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. Fear, fear. Not, I'm not that I'm afraid of fiery pits and pitchforks. But I'm afraid of truly offending someone who loves me so much. I'm truly afraid that of offending somebody that I should be loving. But that love is the basis of all the gifts. True wisdom is gained through loving acts. When I act, suddenly I see, well, that's what works. It works because I included love in, in what I did. True understanding, true knowledge is not just memorization, but knowledge of who we are and what our role is in your plan. I get that through love because God is love. Fortitude. Fortitude. The incredible strength to bear the unbearable and to bear it for the sake of another. Like, for not being here. I know it's getting to the point of being unbearable for some of you. We're doing it for the sake of another, and that's what gives us the strength to do it. That's what gives us the strength to remain in love when we're not in the same building. Not only do we get that strength through our love of each other. That's why we're separate. We're separate because we care. We're separate because we love. The beauty of all of this, of this holy day, Jesus imparts the Holy Spirit into, the, into his apostles, which means Jesus imparts the Holy Spirit into humanity, which means Jesus imparts the Holy Spirit into us. And so obviously, the extent of the Holy Spirit within us will be evidenced by the extent of the love within us and how we cooperate with that love. How much do I love? How deep is my love? How wide is my love? Say how deep. What, what am I really willing to sacrifice for somebody else? You know, sometimes we look at family. What a marvel of God's plan. That, that hopefully that is where we learn how to love so deep. Learn how we might be able to sacrifice everything for the sake of somebody else. Like now, like the vulnerable, like the elders, and maybe I don't know what's going on with the, the, the discussion now of the kids. But I know this, I know that parents will sacrifice everything for them. How deeply do I love? Is there room in me for more love? Is there room for more Holy Spirit? God put it there. He put it in us just as he put it in the apostles. So the second piece, how deeply do I love, but how wide is my love? Do I love, do I, do I really do it only for those who love me? Or for the special ones, or the ones in my group? You know, remember Jesus saying, don't, don't the pagans do the same thing? Of course you can love those in your group. But what is he telling the disciples today? He says, Go out there and proclaim the love. Manifest that love. Go out there right now. People from all around the world are standing out there. Not just your families, not just your tribes. But from all around the world. Show them. Show the world. Show the world what God love is about. He says the same thing to us. Show the world the love of God inside you. Show them that God loves us regardless of circumstances, that God loves us regardless of viruses, and I get to know that love the more I do love. A lot of people need to know what God love is, and we know it. We have it. Show the world. Come, Holy Spirit, Fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. And now, even if you're in your living room, together we stand and together we profess the faith that makes us one. I believe in one God 
the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Transformed by the Holy Spirit, we pray now for the needs of the church and the needs of the world. For Pope Francis, our Bishop John, and all church leaders, may God help them bear fruit according to their own gifts given by the Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, that along with the medical professionals, they recognize the guidance of the Holy Spirit as they seek to alleviate our present suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those serving in the medical field, doctors and nurses and aides, for all those on the front line of this pandemic, police, ambulance and first responders, for funeral home employees, that they all be kept safe from harm as they minister to your flock. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer for those serving in the military and all first responders and their families, for comfort and hope for those torn by violence, and for a just and lasting peace for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater respect for the value of human life, all human life, from the moment of conception until the moment of natural death and every moment in between, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in the recognition of vocations to the priesthood, the religious life, and dedicated lay people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who experience illness of body, mind, or spirit from this virus and from every other illness, for those mentioned in our bulletin, and for all those who have asked for our prayers. May they and their caregiver feel God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, the parish of St. Raphael, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died this week, including those who have died from this virus and from every other illness, and for all our loved ones who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our St. Raphael's Parish community, may the outpouring of the gifts of the Holy Spirit sanctify us and transform us for the good of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for all those intentions that each one of us brings to this Mass and holds in the silence of our hearts. We gather them together and pray for each other's intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear the prayers we bring before you as we pray with the help of the Holy Spirit. We ask this as we ask all things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are a pilgrim people, we 
are the church of God, a family of believers, disciples of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the fire, still burning through the ages, still present in our lives. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly pilgrim people, we are the church of God, a family of believers, disciples of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the fire. Still burning through the ages, still present in our lives. I now pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us to all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for bringing your paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together in many languages of the earth in the profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Hmm. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Keep me safe for eternal life. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. Unforgiving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal life.
Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit may be poured out upon her, and it may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts of every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite in many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that faith. And by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go forth glorifying God by your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, O Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Come, O Father of the poor. Come, O Source of all our store. Come within our bosoms shine. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure we could come up on that. <laughs> I was in a new sound set up this week. Uh, the whole part of the system had to get replaced because of, I don't know, wireless functions. Uh, the only requirement I have for a new one is can, as the old one, can only have one button. Because I can confuse just the one button. And if you saw me fidgeting with it today, it was because I wanted to make sure that I had that one button set the right way. We are, as, as everything moves ahead, as we started to see, I don't know if it's light at the end of the tunnel, but we, there's, there's progress being made, and there will be progress here as well. I will be, as soon as there is as the next step to be taken, you will be seeing me. I've come out every time with, with that we're ready to take the next step. With, we have a couple of things in the hopper for, for, that'll be a little bit different over the next couple of weeks as we get to open up a little wider and a little wider. Doing what we can, because together we're doing what we can. We're doing what we can with always an eye towards the safety of, of everybody here, because that's the Holy Spirit in us, that's God in us, and God is love, and that's what we do. We love, and, and whatever that means, that means I sacrifice to protect, then I sacrifice to protect. We're doing this because we belong together. And that is even bigger than what's in the same room, in the same walls. We're together because we're concerned about each other. And we're going to continue to do that. So, again, I, we are working on a couple of plans. I, I don't know how the next step is going to unfold as it w winds up that some of the plans that we have, we may wind up leapfrogging some of the steps. Nothing will come as a surprise. I will keep coming back so that you know where we stand. God bless St. Raphael's.